Have you watched my video about my son coming to visit me? Uh, the one I talked about, the information I... his information, his ticket information I couldn't find in Evernote. Imagine if I could just type, when is my son coming to Porto in Evernote search box? That would be cool, right? I think it would. <laughs> If you watch my interview with Phil Libin, my conversation with Stacey Harmon, and the episode I was invited to on the Triple T podcast, you know that I'm waiting for this kind of AI in Evernote for a long, long time. I've been following the development in AI for many years, and like several of us, I'm pretty impressed with what we are witnessing right now. However, everything we are seeing is about the world. Paint a cat in Picasso style. Yeah, that's pretty cool, that's pretty amazing. But I have 14,000 notes in Evernote. I've been logging my life there since 2008, and I even gone back before I was born, because we can change the creation dates of notes in Evernote. Yes, it's true, I have notes there from before I was even born. Let me ask you this, do you use Google Photos? Better, let me show you this. This is my real account, and this are the results for bikes in Paris. It's already pretty impressive, because I never added any additional information to these pictures. Uh, Google's AI knows these are bikes, and the location, Paris, of course, comes from the metadata that is embedded in the pictures, the geolocation when we take a picture. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Now, let's make this a little harder. What about bikes and restaurants in Paris? Again, pretty cool. The AI knows what is a restaurant, knows what is a bike. And of course, I can do something as simple as bikes in Paris in 2014. Yeah, but that one was pretty easy, right? <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, this exists, this AI feature exists since the very beginning, since the release of Google Photos. Of course, it has been improved along the years, but the first time I tried it, and I think this was back in 2015, I thought to myself, wow, imagine if I could do something like this on Evernote. Imagine just asking for notes on Evernote, colors, places, informations, there's a lot we save in Evernote. And each note has a lot of metadata too. It has the geolocation, it has time, it has date, and many other details. So when we think about it, at least I can't see uh, technical limitations. Why don't we have that on Evernote? Why don't we have the Google Photos search on Evernote? And this is precisely what we are getting. Let's take a look at this blog post. Rest assured that our AI features will be opt-in only. In other words, it means that you have to give permission. There are two AI features in development. The first one is AI Note Cleanup. I've seen this one in action and it's pretty cool. I think this is going to be good for all of us, especially for those who take meeting notes or quick when we when you are taking notes while someone is talking. I don't know if this happens to you, but it happens to me a lot. I make a lot of mistakes. There's a lot of typos. The note is not really presentable, really beautiful. It happens a lot when I'm with my clients. After the session, I have to organize, I have to clean up the note. And this is precisely what this feature does. And this is a good example of the opt-in. Like I said, I saw this one in action and the AI is not looking at the note. The AI is not doing anything. If you want to clean up the note, you have to ask the AI to do it. You see a pop-up, you see a disclaimer saying that the AI is going to work on that note. It's a specific, it's for that note, and you have to ask for it. Now let's talk about a feature I've been waiting for so many 
ears. AI search. Check this. You can ask questions in natural language directly to your Evernote app via text and receive an instant answer based on the content of your notes. Wow. Wow again. <laughs> It will arrive in the later half of the year. So I think I'll soon be able to type, when is my son coming to Porto? <laughs> but remember, Evernote is not a simple note-taking app anymore. We have a lot of other features there, tasks, for example. So I think the possibilities here are limitless. Imagine a feature like this, AI helping us organize our tasks. Imagine someday in the future, AI trying to figure out which notes can help us with our to-dos. I believe there's a lot coming in the future. I think this is just the tip of the iceberg. If this was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to help even more, please consider joining my Patreon. Thanks for watching. See you soon.